Hello everyone, and I welcome all of you to online study for you a complete placement solution. Friends, uh, today we have a special guest with us. His name is Karan, and he got selected in Wipro in November 2021, and he has joined Wipro in May 2022. So today he is going to share all the process which he went through. So congratulations, uh, Karan, for getting Thank selected you. in Wipro. Okay, so and welcome to online study for you platform. So please introduce yourself. and then uh, you start with the process which you went through so how much time you waited for written test interview and then after your you know uh, offer letter for how much time you waited when did you join so each and everything uh, we wanted to know uh, from you okay hello everyone my name is karan shrivastava and i am from lucknow uh, i have done my btech from choudhary charan singh university in meerut mm -hmm. and uh, i okay. gave uh, i uh, applied in wipro in august 2020 2021 and i gave my exam in uh, september 21 and mm -hmm. then uh, my interview was done in uh, november 21 mm -hmm. and i got the result on uh, in november only so then okay yeah so when did you get your offer letter do you remember the date yes sir 22 november 2021 okay. okay okay great yeah you can continue uh, and then there were general surveys of when my exam will get completed and all that Mm -hmm. and then there was a internship opportunity as well uh, for people who, whose college asked for project or internship in eighth semester mm -hmm. so my college didn't ask for internship but still i did it mm -hmm. uh, for you know students and all uh, the, and then they gave us a you know, stream like java.net etc and we had a six week in, uh, internship so, so this internship not... was from wipro itself yes sir Okay. for the students who who have offer letter with them okay okay great 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 yes uh, and then i completed my internship and then i was i joined in may 2021 okay you joined in may 2021 do you remember the, your joining date yes a 16th may 2022 okay. 16th of may 2022 great great so this is for a light profile right yes sir a light profile okay great and thank you and thank you sir because of your channel um, it gave me very much help that's okay man it's all uh, you, you deserve and your it was your effort okay so uh, there is something pjp uh, in wipro because there are many people uh, you know uh, who might not be aware of that so when i am having a conversation with you so i wanted uh, you know things to be clear so what is pjp and for how many months it will be when it will be so can yes. you please explain about that Yes, uh, I also don't get a proper answer on core as well. So mm -hmm. I'll explain in detail there. Yes. So yes. PJP is a training program by Wipro. In internship also, they provided PJP training also uh, mm -hmm. only because uh, it will be easy for them also when the student actually joins as a full time employee, mm -hmm. they don't have to go through that training again. So in internship, that also helped. So the people who completed their PJP training in internship only. Uh, they didn't have to give it in after joining with them they were directly they directly have to give the assessment and then mm -hmm. they were ready for projects <clears throat> okay okay and for my case uh, i did not complete the internship because my college did not wanted it uh, mm -hmm. there was a project in its semester mm -hmm. so i left in i left in between only so after joining mm -hmm. the pjp is for maximum um, one and a half month <laughs> there are there is a test right after joining like i joined on 16 there was an orientation program mm -hmm. and then on 17th or 18th i had a exam it was easy mm -hmm. uh, one coding question and some mcqs mm -hmm. and the people who did good in them mm -hmm. in it the uh, training period was less mm -hmm. and the people who did not uh, do you know uh, well certain, mm -hmm. uh, their training was uh, slightly long Okay. So after training, uh, the training is similar as in you know you are given a stream and like Java .dot net and etc. Mm -hmm. And after that, there are there is a PJP assessment. Mm -hmm. So that assessment we get five tries. Mm -hmm. mm, I uh, I passed in second try. I think we now it is uh three tries uh, actually. Uh, I was making a video, and in that. Uh, i i had seen like you know uh, right now now i mean uh, actually uh, from june or sometimes they have changed it so when you you, you would have joined it was uh, five time i guess but now it is three uh -huh. times so uh -huh. 
I don't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, so, me, mm -hmm. for me, it was five minutes. Yes, five yes. Price. Okay, great, great. So uh, I cleared in the second attempt, and mm -hmm. uh, then we are, you know, in the bench period. The bench period starts, and then we are allocated to projects. So for how many months uh, you were on bench? I was not for a long time. I, uh, I cleared the PJP somewhat uh, in September, I think I cleared. Okay. September so in, or August. So and in, then I was in six months, yes. Okay, so for how many days you were on bench? Do you remember? Like, I just wanted to have a clarity. So days or month 15, or 15 days? 15 days, yes. Okay, okay. So you joined in May, then May, June, July, August. So almost uh, three months you you went for the training, right? So three to four months you had. No, my 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 training ended in mid of June. Okay, so May June and uh, then uh, after and... that the assessment is uh, you know the first assessment was uh, in in June, mm -hmm. and after that there was a certain gap to for mm -hmm. us to prepare, mm -hmm. and I gave the second assessment in July something. Okay. I passed it and then I was on bench for 10 15 days and then I allocated to project. Okay, okay, so fine, fine. Okay, now I understood. Okay, and PGP, you have to score 60%, uh, what I understand, right? Yes, okay. So, just one more question like, suppose if a student uh, wanted to you know uh, prepare beforehand, like how Infosys conducts a FA examination, so in case of Wipro, they conduct PGP exam. So, if a student uh, is going to join Wipro. Then what all he should study before so that he will not face any difficulty in PJP and there is no chance of, you know, uh, getting uh, any kind of like uh, termination or something like uh, in PJP. Okay, so I too am not, a, you know, I'd say I'm not quite expert in DSA and all databases, mm -hmm. but uh, I know the basics mm -hmm. and the OOPS concepts, uh, concepts would be strong beforehand joining with me and mm -hmm. after joining they provide good training no no and see the after joining they uh, they provide but there are many non it students are there uh yes. you know so they will not be able to understand in I that think I'm a non it student i'm from ec background mm -hmm. okay so i so, i i knew the, yeah i knew the basic concepts of java mm -hmm. like the OOP concept and uh, data some data structures like uh, uh, arrays and uh, you know stack mm -hmm. not really but i knew no, i knew the basics Okay, okay. So, um, yeah, yeah, please, please. Yes, you can say. So, if a student wanted to join Wipro, then uh, he should read basics of Java. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, like, oops, concepts. No, no, the programming are... language is not really restricted. Any programming language. For me, it, oh, I was comfortable in Java. Okay, okay. So, uh, any programming language and then along with that, uh, some data structure concepts, it would understand. So, that will help uh, in expedite, uh, you know, the training and... It's always good to, you know, learn new things. Yes, After yes. PG, uh, in during PJP training also, uh, it is not only Java. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on your my stream was Java J two W. So I had to you know learn the full stack Java basically. Java okay. also the front end and some back end also. What was your branch? Electronics and communication, right? You said. Okay, and you you are twenty twenty two pass out, right? Yes. Okay, so before uh, we end the conversation, I, I would like to ask you, uh, so <clears throat> this uh, Wipro now is definitely delaying the onboarding. So uh, I don't know, like if you have any kind of, you know, the internal news or not. So because the students are very much, you know, kind of depressed and uh, uh, I mean, it's it's uh, it it will happen yeah, as well because it's long time, you know, they are waiting. So uh, can you uh, please comment on that? Like, yeah. Mm. I can't say anything because you know the, the, there is no quite open discussion internally for us. Mm -hmm. But uh, I've, I've heard that uh, all the offer letters will be you know honored, and they should wait. It is all the company's decision. Uh, there is no you know prior notice to us also. Yes, yes. So it it you know it again. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah Even I we contacted many uh, chairs of the many companies. Um, because we have many students who are now which has in many companies and many friends. So like everywhere it's, you know, it's a board decision, company decision uh, to go ahead with that. So that is what, uh, because, you know, uh, when we say students will think that, okay, 
uh, you know sir is telling simply so because as a employee or as a hr nobody will be aware of that what's basically going to happen because it's all uh, based on the business um, actually uh, in the business uh, if we say then we talk about money so it's all about like how company is performing in terms of revenue so karan uh, it was a nice uh, you know talk with you and definitely i would you know uh, if you come to know any news about onboarding and all so please uh, let us uh, know uh, so that we yes. can also communicate to the student and uh, i i don't know like uh, this kind of like interview session what we are happening uh, what we are doing with multiple students so did uh, did it help you during your preparation or get gathering the information yes sir definitely would you know the information is quite scattered in the internet you you don't get it all in one place but yes, yes. you know certain channels definitely help in getting that information and yours is one big channel you know uh, i all look forward to information here only okay great great okay yeah because we provide genuine uh, information if you know something we will provide if you don't know we don't provide uh, we don't do it for the sake of views so that is what yes, uh, you, uh, don't, we have... you don't exaggerate yeah. us correct correct so we we have created a trust among a student so thank you yes. karan uh, for uh, coming to our platform and uh, having a conversation so thank you take care uh, all the thank very best so for much. your future thank interviews you, yeah thank you sir.